look for the man What is up Guitar Legends, Sam Wild here, we're looking at Bare Necessities today from Jungle Book. You don't need a capper, which is great. The chords change quite uh, quickly in this song, that's the difficult part. But the rhythm is actually fairly simple because it's kind of the same thing for the whole song. So let's start off with the rhythm. If you get your C major chord ready first, this is the first chord of the whole song. And let's work on this rhythm. We're gonna play down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so that is the basic rhythm for this song, but we're gonna have to go a little bit quicker than that. Okay, and one thing I do is I add these accents on beats two and four. So we're one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You just strum louder on beats two and four. You can even kind of bring the hand here against the string as you do that, and you get sort of a, like a strum and a slap. So I'm still doing a down strum, but the hand is going to brush the string slightly as I do it, which gives you more of a rhythmic sound. Okay, that's more tricky. You don't have to bring the hand against the strings, you can just emphasize beats two and four like so. It's totally up to you. Okay, as long as you're playing the strumming pattern there or thereabouts, that's fine. For this song, we have an A section and we have a B section, all right? So we don't have a lot to learn here. Let's start with the A section. You can see we have C7 to begin with. Okay, if you want to, you can just play C major. It sounds just as good. Look for the bare necessity. Okay, but if you listen carefully, particularly the second time around, you can hear it's the seventh chord. Necessity is a simple bare necessity. The second chord we have is F major, all right, but again, it's kind of an F7, F dominant seven. All right, so to clarify, C7 is this shape, but if you want to, you can play C major, which means pinky comes off. Then we have F7. If you want to, you can play F major instead, all right, but here is the F7 shape. More of a bar chord, it's quite tricky. Then we're gonna have C, A7, then D7, and then G. Okay, and you're only gonna strum G once, right? So we have bare necessities, a simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean a bare necessity. You hear that? G was just one strum, and then the hand comes in to make sure it's nice and short, like that. So from D7. Now you might have to change chord as you do the final strum, right? So as I'm coming up, you can see I'm changing chord, right? It's impossible to just go boom, straight to that chord. Super fast, it's very difficult. So you can be changing chords on the last up, of each rhythm cycle. Next we have I mean a C, C7, then F twice, then C, A7, A7, G7, C, F, C. All right, so these turnarounds are where it gets tricky because you have to change chords so fast. Okay, but let's look at the third line first. We have C, C7, so you just start with the pinky off for C, bring the pinky in for C7, all right? Then we have F major. Okay, it's not really an F7 here. Okay, but it does just stay on F major. Okay, but it, if you want to, if it's just you and you're not playing along to the song, you can do F major to F minor. So it goes. Bare necessities are mother nature's recipe. 
That sounds quite nice. F to F minor. All right. But the song just stays on F major. And our fourth and final line is this turnaround. All right, so we have to play C, A7, D7, G7, then C, then F, then one final C. Now, because it's so fast, we're just gonna have to do the first two strums of our strumming pattern, which is just down, down, isn't it? So we're just playing down, 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 down. That's the easiest way to do this. All right, personally, I like to add another up on the end. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun, da, dun, dun. Just as I'm changing chord, like so. Right, so there's just that up in between just fills the space. You don't have to, you can just do two downs. But if you add the up, it does fill the space a little bit better, okay? You do that up as you're changing chords. So down, down, change, down, down, change. Down. So when you're coming up, you're just hitting open strings, right? It's just kind of a rhythmical sound. It doesn't have to be a chord, but it gives you time to change whilst filling the space. Now, right at the very end, I tend to play on the F chord, I'll play down, up, down, up. Just so it builds up to that final stop, like so, so I have normal. Now, all the while, I'm still adding my hits in. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But then when we get to F, I just play down, up, down, up, bah, on the C. Okay, just to build up to that final hit. And then we stop on the C, and we do it once, right? But I, I add the little slap sound in up until that point. But you can hear on F, I change to just down, up, down, up with no slap. So this final part all together, I mean a bare necessities and mother nature's recipe. Simple bare necessities of life. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam. Now we go into the B section. For those of you that want to take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. So for the B section, we have G to G7. There's two ways you can do this. You can play this G to this G7, or you can play this G to this G7, which is what I do personally. I think it's a much nicer change to be doing. Okay, and then you just slide the middle finger over and you can go into your C chord, right? So the first two lines are similar. We have G, G7, C twice. And again, we have G, G7, C to C7. Okay, wherever I want Wherever I roam, I wouldn't be on earth, on my way home. And when there's buzzing in the tree, that means there's honey just for me. Okay, let's just look at the third line. We have F to F minor, which is the change that I think should be in the A section, but isn't. Then C to D7, okay, so that means there's honey just for me. Then we have A7, A7, D minor seven. We'll just do one each. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so A7 twice, then D minor seven. Instant. So be careful that it's not a D dominant seven, it's D minor seven. You can hear the piano is hitting this F note. Okay, so it's gonna clash if we hit an F sharp. So it is a D minor seven here. Then it goes D seven to G seven. 
So in this instance, you could play this G7 shape. I find it easier to go to this one for this part of the song, okay? Likewise, when we're doing any turnaround, it's probably easier to go to this shape. So again, we have A7, A7, D minor 7, D, G, C, A7. The bare necessity. So this line, we have C once, A7 again. And we actually do A7 twice and then add one more hit on. One, two, three. And then we stop, right? The bare necessities of life will come to you. Will come to you. All right, then we have to finish the song. D minor seven to G. Now you can play G7 if you want, but I think D minor seven sounds nice going into G for this part. Then we do the turnaround C, A7. I like to stay with the D minor seven sound for this little part. G again. And then just as we had in the A section, C, F, C. And you can stop the hits there just as we did for the A section. So let's just take another look at this. So the first three lines, G, G7, C. I'll slow it down a bit. G, G7, C, C7. Then there's F, F minor. Then we go C, then D7, A7. A7, D minor 7, B7, G, C, A, A, A. The bare necessities of life will come to you. They'll come to you. Don't forget, you can just play this much slower when you're first practicing it, right? The bare necessities of life will come to you. They'll come to you. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your stride. Even slower if you need to. I mean a bare necessities in Mother Nature's All right, guys, that is the A section and the B section learned. So for the, in terms of the structure, we're going to play the A section, then the B. And then we do the whole thing again. We do another A section and another B section. Okay. Then to finish the whole song, we have one more A section. Okay. But we're going to end the song with more turnaround. So we start off necessity. Start off the same bare necessity. Got a buzzer is in the stripes. I mean, a bare necessity is among nature's recipe. So that is all the same. First three lines are the same. Then we're going to do um, three full turnarounds and then have a C, G, C at the end. We're just the bare necessities of life. We're just the bare necessities of life. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what we've done there is we've done the C, A, D, G, C, A, D, G, C, A, D, G, C, G, C. Simple bare necessities of life. The simple bare necessities of life. Now, be careful because usually for this A section we were playing C, F, C. Okay, but to finish the whole song we have C, G, C. What I'm forgetting this far, guys, the play along is coming up, so you can actually try and do the whole song with me now. All right, if you found this lesson helpful in any way, please give it a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell icon too. All right, if you find it too fast, you can actually go into your YouTube video settings, all right, and change it to 0.75, 75% speed. All right, it might sound a little bit distorted, but at least you can play along with me at a slower speed. It gives you more time to change chords, right? Or the alternative is try and play full speed, but pause the video whenever you get stuck and just play slowly over a particular line that you're struggling with. Okay, and don't forget, whenever there's a seventh chord, you can replace it with a normal major chord if that is gonna be easier for you. D7 can become D, A7 can, can become uh, A major. Right, any seventh chord can just be a major chord if you want. It won't sound as good, but it functions in the same way. Look 
for the Look for the... 